Good evening, everyone. How y'all doing? I'm going to give you guys my review and recap on the new chapter of Yamada-kun to the Seven in no Maho. In other words, you could call it Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches. This is going to be on chapter 170, which might have came out many hours or many minutes ago. I wasn't paying attention until I decided to go check on, like, um, a couple websites for this, um, chapter. Now, this chapter right here, um, it does set up, like, um, for, it does have its motion of events or the setup to like um towards almost the ending of this arc right here though it could like um keep going it just depends how the author wants to do it and i gotta say i don't want it to end too early you know i want it to keep going i, I am i am really actually having a lot of fun with this series so by all means of what i'm saying here let's go okay at the beginning we have to it that yamuna is telling miyamura what his plan is and his plan it's to use the eighth power of the the power of the of the seventh witch or eighth witch, whatever you know, and that is the possibility of like um <clears throat> I think using using the power of like um getting rid of amnesia here and using the power of amnesia or something and miles will just screw things up possibly or make a mess out of things. Miyamura was very reluctant about this. He even warned he he warns um Yamuna like um you know what's gonna happen right? Everyone's gonna forget you except Noah Taki except for Noah you know. She says I'm gonna be Senpai's wife you know. Her spotter won't forget him. I'm gonna be by his side you know, which is pretty cute here and there, which I really enjoy a lot you know. I can understand why people love Noah Takigaho or something. Besides besides of what's going on here, let's continue. <coughs> Excuse me. We have to it that Miyamura says, well, if you use the power, you know, I might forget about you, but I'll ask Leona to fill me in what the heck is going on here. I trust her with a lot of stuff. And therefore, Yamuna asks a funny question like, um, how much do you trust her? Which could give out a little maybe bro and sis con kind of thing. But, or incest. But let's not go into that. I don't even know why I even go into that. <coughs> But Miyamura reminds Yamuna, like, um, what are you going to do about Shiraishi? You know, eventually, things could get a little ugly, right? And therefore, he goes, yeah, thanks for the reminder. I'm going to talk to her about it. So, therefore, he tells Shiraishi, Yamuna talks to Shiraishi about it, and Shiraishi says, okay, no big deal. And Yamuna's like, you're just going to accept it just like that? And Shirashi says, well, it was your choice, you don't, you never thought things through about it, so, um, what's there for me to, like, um, make a big fuss out of, you know? And therefore she says, I made up with the countermeasure too, and that was her diary about Yamuna-kun, which is really, really funny, you know, I actually like it. And she tell, Shirashi tells Yamuna, like, um, even if I should forget you, I have these information about like, um, oh, I'm his girlfriend, you know, he's always busy, he's 64 kilograms, he's like 164 centimeters, and he has a thing in between his legs, and he has a birthmark behind his back or something, and I'm thinking in my mind, oh my dear lord, are you real serious about this right now? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm really, really serious about this, you know, because like, um, when she mentions the uh, thing... <laughs> That was just pretty funny. <clears throat> Besides all that, Yamuna says, I will be sure I won't forget you too, okay? So I want you to hang on with me a little longer. Sorry for keeping you waiting. He hugs her, and then she hugs him back, and they end up having a little smile with each other, you know? Which is sweet, because I like Yamuna and Shirashi for some reason. A delinquent with a, um, smart, with a strong academic girl or something is pretty rare that I don't see us often. Or possibly my own fault of not recognizing that. <laughs> and therefore, Ta Noah Takigawa is with with um, Yamuna on the rooftop. And just before he's about to use his power, Oda, Oda Giri Nene st stops Yamuna from using it by calling out his name. Which could lead into like um, a possibility that she might have found out in time about like... Um, uh, Yamuna about to use his power, and possibly Odagiri Nene doesn't want Yamuna to use his power for that for a stupid reason, possibly, or she might reveal other things. So yeah, it ends up there. So going to what I'm saying about what Odagiri Nene might be doing after she called out his name, because it ended off right there. Because like um, 
it, it, there is a possibility that she's going to stop Yamuna from using the seventh witch's power, which is the amnesia thing. Two, might tell him like on what's been going on. Three, might reveal some certain purposes. Or four, there are so many hypotheses. Or four, this and that could happen. I mean, there are so many hypotheses and theories that I can make up with this right now. But I don't even have not enough time to even fill in, fill in with all of y'all because... There's an infinite amount that can happen right now. I just gotta wait, like, um, which one's gonna happen the most, you know? So, overall, this chapter just shows that Yamna tells Miyamura that he's gonna use the power, and he tells that shit to Shiraishi, and that Shiraishi won't for has a countermeasure in case she forgets him, blah, blah, blah. And Odogiri Nene shows up at the end of the rooftop where Yamna's about to use his power, but is stopped by Odogiri Nene. What's gonna happen? What's gonna, what's gonna, what's gonna go down? The only way to find out is... Going to next week, which I'm looking forward to. So, until then, I'll see you guys in my ne next video. So, I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.